Hola amigos, guess what? Today we're exploring a brand new spot. The Chase, right here, found. And I'm extremely excited because it's a spot that either of us have checked out before. And I think the weather is gonna be in amazing conditions. It was freezing this morning and now we had to change to t-shirts because it's getting hot. It's feeling like summer, it's closer and closer here in Tennessee. While Marose says we've changed into t-shirts, I'm still wearing a waffle shirt and I'm literally sweating through the pits of it. Wait, so. wait, wait. Plus, you have a t-shirt underneath. Correct. I, the t-shirt underneath is what I had intended to wear because I knew it was going to be in the 70s today. But it was like 41 degrees when we woke up. So, woe is me. It's my own fault. Who else can I blame? <laughs> well, we're heading there. We're about three hours um, from, their, from the spot. So, we're driving quite a bit today. And I hate to tell you, there's this thing called being hungry 24 seven while pregnant. So I'm making Chase stop somewhere so we can get some food and then continue driving. So we've stopped just outside of Lebanon, Tennessee. We typically stop here because we know we can get, oh, Rose's calling me. Hi, baby. Hey, did you see my text? I did, you wanna say hey to the vlog? Hi, thank you. You're welcome. No, I was trying to thank you to someone else because... Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, what do you want? Mon Baja Blast? Yeah, Baja Blast. Okay, cool, bye. All right, bye. So, we always stop at the Taco Bell here when we're absolutely starving. Taco Bell's always a safe choice because there's potatoes, you can get um, rice and bean burritos, stuff like that. So, we enjoy it. It's quick and easy and cheap and, uh, well, we really like bean burritos anyway, so... That's where we are. The dogs don't mind either because they get to look at everybody. Mommy's got food. What's three, up, burrito queen? Three burritos with rice and potatoes. Let's get going. It's getting late. Come on, mama bear. Let's oh, go. Yep. Thanks, Bubba. You're welcome. It's pierced me, sir. Let's go. The goal. Let me tell you. There is something about fast food that is a hit or miss. Sometimes it's amazing, and other times it's like- Most I'm, of the time it's not. Yeah, most of the time you're like, I'm never coming back to this place, but then you are on a road trip and you didn't pack anything, so you ended up eating fast food. Today's one of those days that's really good. Then I'm like, wow, why do I not get this more often? <laughs> driving all day we've still got about an hour to go so we're gonna make it there pretty late we've got about an hour of sunlight left as well so we're like rushing for time because neither of us have been to this, this spot before so with that said when we get to camp we're probably just gonna get ready for the night because we're super tired we may cook and eat and then just kind of unwind but in the morning we'll show you all the way around where we're at We made it to the spot and thankfully there's still daylight. It is 7.48 
no service at all we're in the national forest and we found this spot right by the river which looks really nice but it's pretty sandy i vote <laughs> for backing up and staying over there but chase insisted we can do it i'm nervous because we don't have any service we didn't bring our max tracks and we couldn't even ask for help if we needed to but i guess he likes to live on the risk live at risk who knows Good morning everybody. I have to say I had such an amazing night in this spot. So for those of you who are wondering, we found this spot. It's in Cherokee mm. National Forest and there weren't many spots that had been marked on any of the other apps. So I hopped over into Onyx Hunt and was able to kind of navigate around the river. And I always manage looking for big pullouts where it looks like there's been vehicle traffic or foot traffic. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, we were able to follow the road all the way down here. Mm -hmm. And oddly enough, we're at a sandy patch right beside the French Broad River. The good thing about the National Forest is that most of the time, they have designated areas where you can camp. You can see the little symbol and it's super easy to for you to like know that that's where you're allowed to be camping. And I'm surprised this is one of them. And I'm also surprised like this is so close to our home base. Yeah. And we have never been here before. And now I'm like, it's, we it's, need to come back. It's wild for me because I grew up in this area mm -hmm. and you know I swam in the lakes that the French Broad flows into and supplies water to. And I, for some reason, never knew that this was here. I never knew that the National Forest was here. I always thought it was on the North Carolina side of things. But no, here we are. And it's just, I don't know, we had a great night. It rained overnight, which just adds to the level of sleep-inducing yeah. uh, good vibes. And, and it's a completely different experience. So with all these spots that we have taken you along over the last few videos, you can see how different they all are. Like some of them were more like camper friendly. Other places were a little bit more accessible or closer to the city. And then you have places like these where it's so remote, you don't have any service. So if that's something you care about, 
there you go yep. you will have to drive a little farther there's some sketchy spots but then they're so worth it when you make it to your destination and the more you use the applications that that we're sharing with you the more you can kind of tailor each campsite experience to the size of vehicle that you have what your comforts are how close to cities or how far away from cities you want to be but we really love having a mixed bag when it comes to experiences the site doesn't have to be the most beautiful it can be more like a campground i mean sometimes we really enjoy that yeah. and then the experiences that you get with some of the other apps you're absolutely not going to get out here in the national forest or down by yeah. by the river but on the flip side, you're not gonna get this experience on uh, certain applications as well, so. But then you might be wondering like, wow, Chase Marina, so you look like you're having such a great time. You like set up outside. We're did all you, cozy. Did you expand your living space in the van? Which brings us to our video sponsor, Moonshade. We are so, so excited to be partnering with Moonshade for today's video because if you remember, we used to have an awning and we didn't put it to use ever as, because it was yeah. a pain in the butt to do. Yeah, it was way too hard, not just only to pull out, but to put back in the bag was a nightmare. It would take me 30 to 40 minutes to try and get it packed in. And then I would still have to leave the zipper partially unzipped because it just, it never packed down properly. Yeah, exactly. So we're working with Moonfab and Moonshade for today's video. They're a group of people that we're very familiar with. They're in the nomad and adventure mm -hmm. space. Which this is great because this means they listen to the feedback of people they are going to be using it. And they already understand some of the pain points around the kit and the gear that we're already installing on our rigs to begin with. With these, you're able to use it in any type of vehicle. They also sell accessories where you can like put it in trees, take it to the beach. It's just like what I love about it is that it is a product that you can take with you anywhere. It doesn't mean that you only have to use it on your rig or your RV or your bus. You can literally go anywhere and have it with you. The setup, for most people, I would say it's gonna be five minutes or less. That's super simple. If you've ever put together a two-pole tent, this is gonna be a breeze for you. If you haven't put together a two-pole tent before, this is still gonna be a breeze for you. But my absolute favorite thing about it is when I go to pack it down, mm -hmm. it takes as little time, if not a little less, to pack it down. And they have designed the bags so there's still space left over for any additional accessories or whatever, which I think is mind blowing. I know. You buy a tent, you buy an awning, you buy something and it never fits once you get it out. Think about air mattresses. They oh never fit back in the box <laughs> once you blow them up. Well, this fits in perfectly and yeah. it still has space left over. It's less than eight pounds altogether. So it's not a lot to load around. Mm -mm. And you know this all too well. It's about the size of a yoga mat. So Moon was super nice to give us today a discount code to offer $30 off your Moonshade purchase. So click the link in our description. It will automatically apply the $30 off your Moonshade. But if it doesn't, the code is TOAVENTURA30 OFF. We'll put that here. It'll also be all down in the description with the link to click as well. I'm excited to see where you take your moonshade and just expand your livable space. I'm happy. Oh, I love it. And this is the perfect spot for it. So I'm going to sit out here and finish my coffee. I think we're probably about to uh, eat a little bit of breakfast as well. And we're going to let the dogs roam around and hopefully we don't lose Jake in the river because he's a water dog. Oh my gosh, that will be a nightmare. <laughs>
it's quite late. Guess we're having some brunch. I'm excited because I'm starving. So, we haven't been grocery shopping. That means I'm gonna have to make with what we got. We have some just eggs, some breakfast sausages, some corn tortillas. So I guess I'm gonna make some breakfast tacos. We'll see. trying to take advantage of not having any service to get some work done in the computer. We will be getting out of here in a little bit so we can spend some time with family that are close by. <sighs> I'm kind of sad of leaving this spot, but I'm happy we found it. What do you think this spot was? One out of ten. We will see you next Sunday, friends. Thank you for being here, and we love you. Bye!